I'm breaking angles like some old tops. My rhyme steady going. Please don't ask me if the flow stop. Deep in the pocket like the roof on a drop top. 101 Dalmatians, the way your boy drop dots. May hold up, I got you diving when I'm juking. The clip's so sick, like the smell from when you're pooping. I ain't get nine and click the sub button. And hit the bell, cause I got a lot more of it. Yeah, who's mains? Terrence House head, who's mains? Bad mains. What's goody, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, Who's Mans. You already know what time it is. Getting into the New Orleans playbook, reviews in the game. But before you do that, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you never miss an upload. Now let's get into it. Hey, so before we get into the offense, I'm gonna show you guys this play, the Overload 3 Press, Fire Zone Blitz. Uh, really dope play that I found. Um, and I'm running this second and 10 just because this is now a passing down. First quarter, early, early. I just wanna see how he responds to it. And you're going to see we get some heat from the outside and we overtake. We make him choose the wrong receiver uh, and get the inter interception. You see Devin Bush is punching people left and right. Punch out. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get down to the seven. <clears throat> now is second and goal. We are on the three yard line and I'm going to come out in single back wing stack and I'm going to use the stretch. Main reason is I like to stretch out the uh, cover zero blitzes. They're too aggressive uh, from their angles. You're going to see here, boom, we have a nice hole in between both tight ends. I juke back a little bit and get the touchdown. Now my opponent's coming out on off or offense again. Make note of this play. Uh, he's going to do a flood type concept and gets me over top. So make note of that play. Um, this one thing that you have to do is pay attention. And here, I was in quarters. For some reason, I thought I picked palms. It would play a lot different. It's in a box check. And because Kelsey goes to the flat along with uh, the number one, the <laughs> number one corner who takes second out reacts super late to it. Right here, he tries to run that same play again. He's just too close to the boundary and too close to the end zone. So it doesn't work as well. Uh, once again, I get lucky here because <laughs> his player runs into him. I shouldn't have stepped inside the same way. And then once again here, I just did not stay with my assignment in the middle of the field. And he scores a touchdown. So seven all. We're coming back out in single back wing stack. Um, <laughs> we're playing mind games. I hike the ball as he shifts. And, uh, you know, the Chiefs defensive line is actually really good. But I've noticed the past two plays, he comes out and cover three buzz. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just, once again, make sure, because he base aligns a lot. And, you know, once you base align, you always get the same look. So I just wanted to make sure that cornerback's off. And like I've showed you before, we hit the number one on the outside for a first down. So we're just punching him. Right here, I believed he was in cover three again, just because he's been doing it quite a bit. And he is. I just go off of his user. He goes to the right. So I look left, hit him in the seams, hold back, and throw it behind him so that the safety couldn't get to him. Uh, right here, I see that he's now in a cover zero. But for some reason, I'm being stubborn and hard-headed. And I don't check out of this, which I should have. And I even get lucky to get back to the line of, <laughs> the line of scrimmage here. So here, once again, I come out in the outside zone. And like I said, I like to stretch the uh, cover zero blitzes because they're way too aggressive to the line of scrimmage. And right there, I should have cut back into that nice little lane. And I tried to do it too late. My run stick is horrible this game. I've said that already, but it's horrible. Once again, come out in a nice little stretch. I end up switching it to the curl post drag, third and seven. And we hit him. Look how quick that is. I mean, you don't have to worry about getting blitzed all game, especially if you have a good quick passing game, a good quick passing attack, I should say. You see there, Overstorm Brave. I mean, look how quick this pass is. And even so, we still had a block coming, so we're good. Once again, I'm showing you guys stick. Um, I had to make shift this one because they don't have stick out of this playbook in this formation. Um, but we still run it. Once again, he cannot get over to the running back because he just put himself too close to the line of scrimmage. And we hit him for a first down. So just from this play, it is very important to have plays that are similar to that curl post drag. Something that is very quick that you can hit. You see there we get a touchdown. Now, third and 23, it's the end of the second half. 
or into the first half, I should say. And I, that's why I said, remember that play. And instead of biting down on the uh, flat route, we stay over top because he has to get a first down and I'd rather him hit underneath and it forces him to go back inside knowing that I have a lot of help there. And uh, yeah, we get the pick and we're back in goal line or in the red zone. My rent and run stick once again, not that great. He's just playing really good defense. Um, but for the most part, I, I usually don't have trouble running the ball. Now, this is a, a really hilarious play. He double teams Deontay Johnson. And you're going to see why I love Mesh so much. Mesh is just amazing. Now, look at this. Double teams Deontay Johnson. And now the man responsible for Boykin gets stuck. And then he has to go to the running back. Leaves the middle of the field wide open. And we get a touchdown. Mike Thomas happy. <clears throat> so, we're back on offense. Uh, and... <laughs> Jones is just a beast. That's simply what that is. I'm once again trying to uh, get something going on the ground because we're up 21-7. I need to get something going right here. I get so lucky. I threw it late, one. And two, I need to just, <laughs> I need to be a little bit smarter here once again. Cut it back up. Uh, he just does a good job. Um, so far, he's just shutting the run down. Kansas City is actually very underrated. Um, and there... <laughs> We do a run play. Now, here is a play that, once again, I get lucky. And Kenny Pickett bails me out. Throws an absolute dot over top of his head. But that is a stupid pass. Any other time, that should usually get picked off. Now, this is a play uh, I got from Zando. He keeps calling these cover zero blisses. And I'm already up. I decide to get a little cute. Run a little end around. And uh, pick up a nice gain. And then to end the game off i mean look at this placement even though he's backed off the placement's nice there's no help over top and we get a touchdown and my man is done um but yeah i mean like i said i got more videos coming more formations i just wanted to throw this in there for you guys but anyway thank you guys for watching if you'd enjoyed it hit the subscribe button and the bell and remember gitg and i'll see you guys later peace